The Brand Story Media recently organized the Indian Brand and Leadership Conclave 2022 on the theme of Embracing the Change, the New Normal. The conclave was marked with insightful keynotes delivered by nationally renowned personalities including Sri Fagan Singh Kolaste, Sri Kabir Bedi, Sri Vineet Goenka, Sri Sameep Shastri and Lakshmi Narayan Tripathi. The conclave saw power-packed panel discussions on Atma Nirbhar Bharat and Data is the New Oil and celebration of Indian brands and leaders with an award ceremony that honoured brands and leaders under various categories. Please put your hands together for a guest of honour in the league, Mr. Sameep Shastri. He is the Chairman in the Institute of Governance and Leadership, the President, Confederation of Young Leaders, the Vice Chairman, BRICS CCI, Trustee for School of Management and Chairman Lal Bahadur Shastri Welfare Organization. Mr. Sa Shastri is an ardent advocate, a change maker in the space of youth empowerment and leadership development. So I request Mr. Sameep Shastri on the stage. Please, big round of applause for Mr. Shastri. And I request Dr. Abhay Kaushik to kindly join and honor him with the Leader of Hope Award for his contribution in advocating the use of technology for the public good and good governance. Maker in the space of youth empowerment and leadership development for his contribution in advocating the use of technology for public good and good governance. Leader of Hope Award to Mr. Sameep Shastri. Good morning to all the dignitaries and delegates present here. It's such a pleasure. First of all, I would like to thank The Brand Story for creating a platform to raise a voice and a topic so sensitive right now, which is actually very important to most of us sitting here and, not, and hearing us. And so I will also be talking about embracing the change in the new normal. COVID, the pandemic changed the scenario for everyone, that's true. A standstill for the entire globe for nearly one and a half, two years unprecedented times where we did not know what is going to happen next uh, is there a cure available or not and look at what the, it actually bought a teamwork effort where the vaccinations that took 30 40 years to develop we were out with it within a month of within a time period of six to eight months and with the infrastructure that our honorable prime minister was able to provide most of us 95 percent of us are already vaccinated so it is just the vision that carries, you know, and the change that everybody wants to adapt to. Like rightly said by Kabir Bedi sir, that as a generation, we are in a, we are privileged to be powered with all the technology and support. It is just the adaptability that we need to accept. I remember my childhood, you know, we used to go save money, buy cassettes, and then it came to CDs, then it came to MP3, and now it's cloud music, it's data. So there's a generational shift. I never thought that I will have, a, you know, we had these telephones back home which were locked when I was a kid. And now we have handsets which can record and they can go live and you can be present across the globe. So de technology has changed over the past two decades. What we need to do is similarly accept this pandemic was there. Yes, we need to move forward. We also saw that, you know, the work culture we never thought, you know, we initially as businessmen, we used, as young entrepreneurs, we used to go for the first meeting, do that ice breaking. The technology brought that change. We were able to do it through Zoom and other platforms. Flexible work culture, which was not even thought of, you know, 9 to 5 was the set mindset of everybody. But flexible work culture has improved performance. So entire work culture has changed, the work-life balance has changed because of this new norm. So let's just look at the positive side. Let's talk about the positive sides of having the pandemic and making the new normal. The new normal we talk of, it's not, now has also made people more empathetic and understanding and has put mental health as one of the most sought after priorities for the next generation, which we never thought of the pressure that could, a situation could build, you know. It was always taken for granted that, oh, you know, only extreme situations like death, marriage or birth of child would be considered. But now organizations have started becoming more empathetic towards their employees and their 
needs which are, which could be daily needs or daily problems which is a beautiful change and a productive change in india we saw 8 years back make in india came into force it's not that it wasn't there there were manufacturing units but the ease to do business which our honorable prime minister has been pushing from 100 rank to 63rd rank we have moved to and a creating a single window operation is what was required and i see as a young entrepreneur in we were able to create 94 or 96 i stand corrected on that unicorn companies in startup it is only because of you know deregulating and making uh, making it possible and giving the opportunities to the young minds and as rightly said by vinith goenka ji that you know atal incubator initiatives have actually helped to get together and take opinions of the young minds and keep get them in place and from the smallest aspects you know the logo designings of the government have been done by students you know the active participation of the masses is what this government has done earlier it was policy making with bureaucrats industrialist or the chamber of commerce who would put in their views but now because of the social media platform and active engagement with the public you don't know who sitting where in the smallest part of the village might have the best creative idea and now it reaches the right government and the right platform and we are able to implement on it that's what the change is and since 2014 to 22 infrastructure has been the priority of make in india because anything that you talk about in terms of development on msme whether it's sme it is very 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 important that the infrastructure is there we talk about digital economy we talk about data we talk about crypto parallel economies are getting created because of crypto a lot of people might agree to disagree here but that is the way forward like i told about the example of the music industry ultimately has gone to cloud theaters have gone ott has come into place in cinema industry and a lot of your your one point solutions uh, are there parivan app is there where you can actually get your license renewed to everything so the ease has become that has come in only because of digital technology and it is time to that we accept to that digital payments are very very important data is the new oil that's what our generation frankly believes because on parallel world in metaverse we are already buying land we are buying locations we are talking about blockchain we are talking of simplifying our needs and this is the generation where we want we to be you know achieve success at a younger age and have a beautiful comfortable life so we are already planning about investments the basic uh, you know our organization has been really working towards the normal change where we had a 24/7 helpline and we helped around 2500 or people across india during pandemic we also have been educating the vision where a billion for a trillion economy where we have been educating uh young students of class 11 12th across nation about how you know basic investments are very important whether it's mutual funds whether it's sips how because this this was the knowledge which was in share when we were in school why insurance is important or why investment is important and if someone would have guided us at the right time probably we would have changed at least two rickets before india would have become more powerful and i believe that you know our parents always advocated that education is the spine and the knowledge is our spine and you need to study hard so data is a part of knowledge it's just the right use of your knowledge which is required you need to critically analyze your data to make it beautiful to make it healthy lot of companies have lot of data is but they are working in an orthodox format they don't know what to do about their internal data if they start sharing their internal data and merging their with an external data they can grow by at least 10x fold that i am sure of because i have been consulting with few and i have seen that change and i personally feel that being a part of many organizations it is one social responsibility to advocate the right things and work towards your own community and nation you know mission uh, swachhta mission was a great success for the first year when it launched everybody was very concerned and you can see it phasing out why can't we develop like i have been doing mission sfi since 2015 where we have created clusters 
in normal RWAs where young students are going and teaching to segregate waste to set, uh, wet and dry. We are at the first stage when you go to a European country, the same Indian, same guy is ready to segregate the waste into three ways. Whether it is wet, dry and then bio or plastic or uh, you know glass. We are the same people who can do it. Why don't we do it in our home? Because our basic mentality is to keep our home clean and we are not bothered about the rest. I urge here everyone to actually advocate it and start in your own office. That most of the offices don't have uh, segregated waste. Please start segregating waste. I will not take too long. I know it's a long day forward. Looking forward to hearing you all. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching today's episode of India's Brand and Leadership Conclave. We will be back with yet another episode of Leading Brands and Leaders of the Nation. Until then, take care and stay tuned.